Okay, here we go. We're going to test the preamp valves from this old um, Laney 60 watt um, amp. It's got four uh, ECC 83s in it. We're going to test them. Uh, they they look like the original valves, so we're going to see how we're going to get on with those. Uh, we're going to test them on this uh, beautiful old AVO valve tester, which is absolutely amazing piece of equipment. And here are the valves here, just four of them, all ready to go. They're Bremars, which are basically the same as Mullard premium fantastic valves. And uh, we've got the book here, we set it up, uh, let's see if you can just see there, uh, ECC 83s. That's how you set the machine code, 6 volts, negative grid only 2 volts. We're going to run it at 250 volts, which is fine for testing. It's going to give 1.2 milliamps and 1.6 milliamps per volts. If it was a perfect Mullard valve, which it, if it was a Mullard and perfect, they'd come out absolutely spot on if you ever get an original and test it on this machine. So we're going to take the first one, I'll show you how you do it. Here we go. Just plug it into there, the little socket. This goes in nice. Got your meter here. Now you have to be careful that you've set everything right, which we have. Those are all the settings set on that uh, special thing as per the book. Now we test down here. First of all, we test. I'll just zoom out a bit for you so we can see hopefully the meter. We test. Um, for any shorts or any forts down here, everything meter swings over showing. You've got two anodes, anode one and anode two, no forts. Then you check for the heater continuity, no short. Yep, it's fine. Check the heater insulation is fine. You switch the test. Uh, that provides heater is on. Sometimes the valve flares up. Uh, initially that's not a problem, some valves flare, some don't, can't actually see the heater. But the meter's going up. Now, it's said in the spec it should only be about um, ECC83, will only generate about 1.2 milliamps. Uh, this dial down here sets the sensitivity of the meter, so it's a 10. Ooh, it's way over. We've set the grid voltage, which it said was um, negative 2. We've got negative 2 on this uh, setting here. So it's actually generating this one. Hmm. We've got a 10 milliamps uh, on the maximum. Is it 3 milliamps? And that's on anode 1, which is set on this gauge down here, anode 1. We switch it to anode 2, see if it jumps. Also 3. So, um, it's putting out more milliamps than the, it should do, but it's not a problem. It just means that it's uh, really, really um, sensitive, which is a good thing. Now we're going to test the milliamps per volt. Uh, you do that by setting the meter to zero. Uh, with these controls, increase sensitivity, set to zero. And the book said it should be, um, book says for the ECC83 should be 1.6 milliamps per volt, which we've set on closely on this 1.6. Uh, we now test and it's whizzed up, so we rotate this dial till it sets goes to the number one position on the scale and it says it's um, about 2.75 2 it's very very sensitive uh, valve uh, we just switch it back with chest that's on anode 2 we test anode 1 now meter moves slightly oh, almost perfectly matched it's, uh, since you said it's a zero, test milliamps per volt. And this one was um, slightly weaker, doesn't matter, really good. Uh, 2.4. So, um, valve's way over spec, which means very, very sensitive, which is what you want. I mean, you could 
uh, put that in the front end if it's not going to be noisy. So we just uh, back these controls off. Oops. Set the meter down. Still drawing three milliamps. Uh, check for insulation. No shorts. You don't normally get a short in these. Uh, but with this meter here, the meters when you switch for see if there's any shorts. No meter shows maximum megs. Maximum megs. And switch that valve off. Okay, that's super duper. We take the, take the next valve and uh, we just do the same. Check for uh, any faults on the valve. No faults there. Check the insulation. Super. Switch on the heaters. And uh, watch the meter come up as the valve heats up. Here it comes. The other one was about, did it go up to 3 milliamps? And this one's going quite high. And uh, just the same as before, we can set that's anode 1, anode 2, very similar. We check anode 1, uh, oops, for the milliamps per volt. Just set that to zero, it's very sensitive on these preamp valves. Bang it up. Now that's 2.4, exactly the same as the other one. Check the other anode, zero, zero it, yeah, same as before. Slightly more sensitive on the anode 2 than anode 1, almost identical to the other valve. Uh, switch it back, so don't let break the meter, check the current, three on one, just under three on anode one, check the insulation, turn it, test there, yeah fine, very fine, and off. Okay and we continue to test it, we check the other two valves just the same.